instrument is this i will hurry a bit because i do not know when the, when this next zoom crash is going to happen okay so uh, what is this device or instrument this hello rib retractor this is called as a rib not retractor sir this is not retractor see the instrument and this is called as the liver okay these are called as the blades so this is called as a rib spreader or better called as a finocetto a rib not a retractor it is called as a rib spreader okay do you know of any operation in which you use a rib spreader sorry i will use a black ink right do you know of any operation where this rib spreader is used thoracotomy very good it is used for doing a thoracotomy okay right in this you will be asked about what are the various types of thoracotomy please remember of the various types of thoracotomy it can be a midline thoracotomy commonly called as a sternotomy it can be an anterolateral thoracotomy which is less commonly done but what is more commonly done is a posterolateral thoracotomy remember that a posterolateral thoracotomy usually starts from the angle of the scapula continues usually in the fifth intercostal space and goes up till the nipple line or the nipple point so this is called as the posterior lateral thoracotomy okay right now so any other operation apart from a thoracotomy where this is used any other operation so thoracotomy is a very nice answer any other operation where this is used come on man for an open exposure of the kidney remember this is a very beautiful versatile instrument particularly if you have taken the subcostal approach or the transcostal that means through the 12th rib approach if you have taken this suffices as a very beautiful instrument to do that last one if you are giving a human examination what is that reason in which the thoracotomy was done what is the example that you have seen for which the thoracotomy was done fundoplication fundoplication needed a thoracotomy holy god cabg which type of fundo cabg but cabg did they use as a retractor i don't think so no sir then lobectomy lobectomy okay good good answer sir lobectomy for what come on man carcinoma i will give you a very simple answer today sab bullus bullectomy bullectomy have you seen this this operation yes sir okay the question is who Car does carcinoma is of the lower end oh ek minute ek minute ek minute ek minute who does the no no who does the ct vs i know that man okay i'm very 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 amazed very very nice with this okay so i know that ct vs anesthesia do that. people do the operation anesthesia people do the operation why because hydatid says does not form a pericyst remember that So the only thing that this anesthesia chaps have to do is that you have to do the thoracotomy, expose the pulmonary parenchyma, which is always like a collapsed balloon, and then just incise the visceral pleura, tell the anesthesiologist to inflate the lungs, and wow, it comes out like a football, intact, and everyone smiles. So that is the, okay. Apart from that, as all of you have said. you can do this for what kind of esophagectomy what root of esophagectomy will you use this for sir sir come on man simple name naver lewis okay now in a naver lewis which space is opened for exploring the thoracic esophagus hello which space is open for exploring the thoracic esophagus on the right side okay so remember the diver lewis requires two incisions one on the right fifth intercostal space and another one in the midline right now this one this one is a very simple one all of you have used this what is its instrument called as hello what is this instrument called? Ah ah ah! So this is the reason I give you this question. This one is called as the knife. 
or better called as a skin grafting now i have an objection in using the word knife hence i use the word handle which fits along with the knife the knife remember is a disposable one whereas the handle is not combined together this goes by multiple name like humbries knife you have benedict's knife which looks like a smaller version of this one okay but this is used commonly called as a skin grafting handle handle with a blade so in an exam if you are given this this is called as a skin grafting handle with a blade now what is the common use you know of so this is used for taking what kind of a skin graft this is used for taking what kind of a skin graft split this is used for taking a split thickness skin graft okay what are the complications due to use of this instrument very specific question what are the complications that occur due to use of this instrument very specific question sir you can produce subcutaneous fat muscle sometimes even vessel injury if you are not very careful about the depth of the thing so how do you prevent a deeper injury while you are using a skin grafting handle or blade by adjusting the blade sir two points very good very very well said it is usually the distance that you need to adjust point number 1 point Locking. number 2 you need to lock this point so this is the lock point okay but what is most important is if you have done this if this is the thigh of the patient this is the leg remember the surgeon okay. always moves like this okay and the assistant always applies a counter traction so it is always by a traction and a counter traction so if you don't have a counter traction remember the knife will immediately slice through the subcutaneous tissues so always remember that one so first of all adjust the blade thickness number 2 the knob should be or the lock should be inserted number 3 traction and counter traction which should be an uniform traction as much as the surgeon so much so for the assistant so please remember that now this one something again from plastic surgery what is this condition called as dupitrans dupitrans very good this is a bilateral dupitrans contracture okay which finger is it involved on the right side this is the base of the fourth digit on the left side this is both the fourth and the fifth digit that is involved now what is the treatment plan for this patient please don't say alcohol abstinence so z plastin series ah 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 that is the reason sir if you have done your plastic rotations i'm not a plastic guy but still points to know are see z plasty will only be effective if it is across a joint that means if it is across a joint your z plasty is going to be effective but the minute it is involving this palmar fascia okay remember like this one as you can see it is involving a thickness of the palmar fascia you must go for an excision of the palmar fascia and then you need to thereafter for the uh, finger for the met, uh, for the metacarpophalangeal joint so this area is treated by the z plastic whereas if there is a thickening or a band which is usually more than 1 cm on the palmar fascia you need to go for an excision of the thickened palmar aponeurosis or the palmar fascia whatever you call that to be okay so this is all about the principle that we have to know as general surgeons regarding the treatment right now this oski is interesting so guys what is your differential diagnosis this was an interesting one what is your differential diagnosis meningocele. come on quickly meningocele okay why did you feel it is meningocele okay see number one is that it is soft and transilluminate isn't it so this is the reason 
sir i felt it is meningo seal because this is close to the midline okay now can you tell me what is exactly a meningo seal if this is the spine what is exactly a meningo seal come on what is exactly a meningo seal what is exactly a meningo seal can anyone of you tell me what is exactly a meningo seal so meningo seal is a type of spina bifida aparta where occurs what is that is this is the spina bifida spina bifida and then this the spinal cord and the nerve are there present in the spinal column but what is absent in the spinal column is the posterior processes of the, or the posterior arch component okay so this is called as a meningo seal agreed in that but remember that meningo seals are usually seen in the midline so this is just away from the midline so i will always think of meningo seal as a differential diagnosis anything more that can have this kind of a picture come Acrococcyl on microcochlear thread sir 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 lipoma cystic hygroma exactly this is what i wanted you to come out is a cystic hygroma though this is not a common sight and a lipoma so if the examiner is asking you give differential diagnosis he is asking you 1 2 3 meningo seal cystic hygroma lipoma i really liked it so sacrococcygeal teratomas are firm to heart they will not be in the dd what is the investigation that you will do to know this sir very simple i will think about the x ray ls spine an x ray of the lumbosacral spine nowadays people will shrug away from doing an x ray but this is a good investigation if you need much more than an mri of the lumbosacral spine will be a good investigation to tell you and to rule out a meningo seal that's it because these are the two that can be operated by a general surgeon a meningo seal will be probably requiring a help of a neurosurgeon so that is the point of a difference that needs to be understood any questions or any queries now if the history is of a much smaller duration and the patient complains of pain in the or a low back pain what is the differential diagnosis that you shall have the sarcoma Hello. sarcoma is soft no so i will omit the word transilluminant sarcoma can be but remember that always keep and cold abscess in the back of your mind okay right so this completes this part finally the last of the couple of them this is everyone every first year to finally year everyone has used this so many times per day sorry okay so now tell me guys what is this one what is the specific name for this hello are what is this device man monopolar diathermy do you think this is monopolar diathermy come on this is the reason i told you the monopolar diathermy unit is something that is there in the box and has those plugs and sockets it is something that takes in the electricity in this plug and socket what is something that you put in is called as a active electrode or better called as a diathermy pencil or diathermy active pencil or active pen so better the real thing is it is called as an active electrode also commonly called as a monopolar probe so it is also called as a monopolar probe is this one now i have not asked you for an open surgery i have asked you for a minimal access surgery what are usually the complications that happen in a minimal access what is the group of complications that happen see the first group of complication that is going to happen is very simple you are using this one say for example this is the hook okay 
so this is the hook and this hook directly produces an injury into that that means say for example your hook was going on with the liver and by this time a loop of intestine came into your view this injury that it is producing what is this kind of an injury called as hello what is this kind of an injury called as this is called as a conductive okay coupling capacity no this is not capacitive coupling this is called as a conductive coupling or a direct coupling okay so please remember type that type not not type one so do not know about type one injury so this is called as a direct coupling a indirect coupling will mean that this is the hook which is touching the liver now this hook is also touching now some another instrument which in turn is being touched by a piece of a bowel so that means that is called now to be an indirect form of coupling so these are the two common ones the third one will be that if you use a port and this port has a plastic jacket or the sleeve is made out by plastic now what occurs is that the minute you introduce this diathermy and this is the hook of the diathermy this is going to discharge a lot of electrons in this area if there is a leak from the teflon sheath these electrons are usually dissipated outside like this in this example as you can see these electrons could not get dissipated and they accumulate in this area until and unless you get a loop of a bowel which has a zero charge this is negative charge and looks like a capacitor so this is called as a capacitive coupling so i've told you what is a capacitive coupling so capacitive coupling is only seen when there is a plastic jacket to the metal probe so sorry to the metal trocar if for a plastic trocar you don't get a capacitive coupling so for a metal trocar with a plastic sleeve you get this complication okay right so these are the things to know about in this minimal access problems so there can be other problems which are not specific to minimal access like the surface area if this is one the return electrode something that completes the circuit should have an area of 100 that means your return electrode should have a surface area at least 100 times more than this one so please remember this one so there are many other complications but for minimal access remember direct coupling indirect coupling capacitive coupling so please remember these three sir Ask can you repeat to... the return return electrode concept a return electrode concept sir is very easy is that see what did that thing go yeah return electrode sir is that that if this is the machine okay this is the monopolar so this monopolar what it does is that that you are it is bringing in the electricity so this is the electricity that is being brought out so this is the ac plug now you are taking some electricity from there this is the hand piece this is the patient and to complete the circuit remember the electricity has to get the circuit has to be completed and it has to come like this so if this is the way it goes this is the way it comes so if this is one this has to be 100 so have you understood this one so this is called as the return electrode and this is called as the active electrode okay right so this is the monopolar device any 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 questions till now sorry any questions till now hello any questions till now no i think chalo no, now what is this what is this strange looking instrument this is something that your generation will be less seeing because staplers have come into but still with staplers 
This is something called as a LAR clamp. Very favorite instrument with GI guys. Where you apply it at least one centimeter below the tumor and go in for an operation called as low anterior resection. Okay. So this is the only use of this instrument. You can do this for a Hartman's procedure also, but it's usually not required. So this is very specifically used for a low anterior dissection for a mid-rectal tumor where you apply the clamp at least one centimeter below the tumor margin. Chalo. Now this one. What is this device? What is this device? Guys? May I use stripper, sir? Very good. So this is the varicose vein stripper. Okay. As you can see, these are things called as olive. Now, a few simple things to remember in this one. When you talk about a varicose vein stripping, what is important is that this is the great saphenous vein. Okay. This is the femoral vein where I have done the flush ligation. So remember, this is the femoral vein. What I will do for you guys is that, that I will shade the femoral vein for you guys. What I will do is that, that I will shade the femoral vein. Oh. I will shade the femoral vein with this deep blue color. Now, my question is, in which direction do you introduce the stripper? In which direction do you introduce the stripper? Above downwards like this or below upwards like this? Which one? Above a or B? Above uh, Why not B? Why not B? Okay. Both can now see. Both can happen. So that is a diplomatic, beautiful answer, sir. You see, you don't do B because the problem is that that if you can go by, the stripper can enter like this, and then it can again come like this, and it can again come like this. That means through the perforators, it can enter the femoral vein. That chances are much less. It is not that they cannot happen. If you go it from above downwards, it can happen. But those chances are much less because you are tracking the subcutaneous part of the vein. This is the only answer that I still could get from my cardiothoracic colleagues, believe me. My whole life, I started by doing B. Then when I became a surgeon, someone told me that, no, you are not doing things right. I read Kirk's surgical operations. Kirk says that don't do those things. Hence, I started doing from back downwards with this logic. Have I made this point clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, right. And what is important is that, that whenever you introduce the stripper, the first thing that you attach at the end is not the olive. This is called as an waist pin. After it comes out in this region, after it comes out in this region, that means when you get the palpable, this one, you do a small veni section, you do a small venous cut down. Through this point, the pin is removed and the pin is replaced by the term called as olive. So this is the olive, the olive. Okay, chalo, okay. And then what you can do is that you can just pull, you can need to put in the olive. And after you put in the olive, you just pull it like this. Remember the vein comes out everted. The vein comes out everted. Okay, right. Completes the job, chalo, the last one. Oh, what is this device, guys? What is this device? Hello. Rectal manometer. This rectal manometer. Wow. <laughs> this is called as a rigid sig moidoscope. What is the use of this instrument? For decompression. Diagnostic for Diagnosis of rectal pathologies like cancer, solitary rectal ulcer. Nowadays has been changed by colonoscopy has taken away the glamour from this instrument, believe me. But uh, when we used to have this in our OT, 
well taking a rectal biopsy was so easy okay when you treat it for therapeutic purpose the only important thing is for a volvulus you can attempt for a derotation with this so these are the two things that have still remained with a rigid sigmoidoscope in that the length of a rigid sigmoidoscope from this to this is 30 cm when you introduce it in the patient remember 5 cm juts out so that means basically you have 25 cm that is inside the patient 25 cm should be able to tell you you are in the distal part of the sigmoid remember the anal canal is 4 cm sigmoid is 16 so 16 and 4 is 20 so that means your sigmoidoscope shows you the distal part of the sigmoid complete such a right now the last question everyone knows what is this suture this is a pds or a polydaxone on 2 now what is this important is that that what are the principles of use of this in abdominal surgery okay what do you think is the pds used for abdominal rectus closure mass closure very good is used for a mass closure of the abdominal laparotomy wound or abdominal wall now you will be asked about simple mbbs like questions about jenkins what is rule. the jenkins rule that means the 4 is to 1 rule some people say it is 5 is to 1 but i will go for 4 is to 1 number 2 is that if this is all then there has been newer developments like far and near sutures x sutures to close the abdomen but what has stood the test of time is the jenkins rule of not only 4 is to 1 but remember that the 1 cm rule has still remained in practice 4 is to 1 is the length of the suture and 1 cm is the gap between the margins and the gap between the two sutures so these are the two things that you are required to know in the abdominal wall closure okay so guys we had a brief oski i thought that that today i'll be taking <music>